Uh, I always hate doing this. Especially on stream. I should never do this on stream. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, this is my second channel. You're probably not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Half of you statistically are not subscribed, which is insane to me. Uh, but if you're gonna watch it, if you're gonna watch this, hit that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. Uh, this is part three of Da Vinci. How's the Da Vinci? Let's get into it. We didn't get to see this intro last time. Oh, it's actually Pog. It was actually a dope intro. It was like Game of Thrones. Damn. Oh my God. That was sick. All right, Da Vinci, that's us. Here we go. Part three. I think the first part, the first chapter was honestly not even a part one. It was more like an introduction. Uh. But then that first one was really tough. Yeah, the ending, they go through it right at the beginning. All right, the bald lady. This is a, um, a hotel, I believe, or a restaurant or something. Rome 1508. We're on our way to meet Leo himself, apparently. All right, folks. Oh, key is. Yeah. I mean, it's just like anything else, really. The more you do it, right? Well, there are people. Little journal update. Slums, dude. We're in the slums. The slums of Rome. The road from the house of Leonardo's friend was long. Luckily, after some time, I met a traveling merchant with extra space in his wagon. An interest uh, in company. He took me to the gates of Rome. But when I told him what part of the city was my destination he just shook his head apparently leonardo wasn't kidding when he mentioned the slums here's what i think is funny right now because this uh this gentleman encounters these letters right and in these letters they always refer to like our friend they never name leonardo they always say like our friend our friend and like they never really say his name because they want to keep it like a secret i guess but then this guy just like all willy nilly just just throws around the L word, you know. That's supposed to be get. What if he gets caught? What happens? You know. All right, but we can't get caught because we got one of these. We got a time turner from Harry Potter, literally. Okay, there's a, there's something going on over here. Some rats there. I already see. Uh, nothing over here. There's some gentlemen here. Well, I think we start on the left here. Okay, okay. Oh, a little chain. There we go. Nice. Okay, I think that about... I think that about does it. Ah, rats. Get out of here. Oh. Oh, uh, you, Jacomo. They waiting for you upstairs. <laughs> They're throwing your mustache. Favorite soup? Tomato soup. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't keep them waiting. <laughs> yeah, the graphics are sick. All right, here we go. He's got, yeah, he's got a set of like, his mutton chops are insane. All right, we got door one. Oh, he was very flattering here. They didn't even give him any mutton chops or a mustache. They must have added that in post. I finally arrived at the place of a meeting. I had goosebumps just walking through the district. But as the master says, the greatest deception men suffer is that of their own opinions and biases. I need to give this place a chance and I look forward to seeing Leonardo again. All right. Let's have a gander here, okay? We got door number one. We got door number two. We got door number three. Obviously. OK. 
Okay. Well, that makes things easier. Tell me, what do you think about all this? Oh! Giacomo! Leo! I knew you could do it, but I was still worried. Did you bring the Chronicle? We got it. We got it, bro. We, we found the Chronicle. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that guy? That's our buddy Paolo or whatever? Just as I hoped. The Chronicle records the whole history of this secret order. This order Eustatalis. I will need a moment to find what we are looking for, but this is immensely interesting. I should probably introduce you. Next to me stands my great friend and advisor. I owe much to him and consider him the most erudite friar in the whole clergy. Honorable Luca Bartolomeo. He just dropped erudite like it was a normal <laughs> word, dude. That's crazy. Leonardo, you underrate my brothers. That is not my intention, but it is still my opinion. And before us is my disciple and assistant, about whom I have spoken so much. A man possibly brought to me by fate itself to help me carry the weight of my burden. Monsieur you that were Giacomo brought to him by Andrea fate. I greet you, Jacobo. That food looks good, Please, dude. Look at that spread. Leonardo that bread looks hunters. fresh as... He couldn't wait to read the Chronicle. I'm sure you've huh. noticed that when he gets like this, there is no talking to him. Okay. I want to skip, Down. but also... Have a bite. You must be tired after your journey. I think we just I think we just watched the story. We have a veritable feast here. I would always skip vegetables, as a kid. I would never pastries, unless the story was incredible. More vegetables. Well, your master isn't the funnest person in the world, but you surely noticed that as well. Luca makes fun of me often, but this time I'm really not able to find out where the point is hiding. He would do better to focus on real problems. There's a long cutscene, dude. See? Just like I said. But seriously, real problems. I am sure Leonardo told you how, once upon a time, he met Cesar Borgia with members of a secret society. They brought fragmented plans for some strange machine and asked him to construct it for them. At first he agreed, but when he found out what a terrible weapon the machine could become, he decided not to give it to them. I see. There can be no more doubt. <sighs> Do we skip this, dude? Do we skip this? Used to Talis. They also had Are you guys into this? Do you guys like cutscenes? incomplete, because in the past they had a similar time machine. So why did they need my help? I suppose Either we need to know way, the story. In the end, Ordo used to Talis took the machine from the tower of Badia Fiorentina. Shortly after Leonardo... Which he says skip it. Just moments after you did as well, Giacomo. When you tried to save... All right, we, we vote for the next the one. Here we go. We put a poll up. Who took your glove before you came to? Incoming poll. I wonder what the story was with the Duke. Uh... When they came with the plans, he seemed to have a position of power within the Order. But after your escape to Florence, they didn't cooperate at all. <laughs> and that's something we should thank Providence for, because... Until Ordo Eustatalis right, obtains one of the gloves, we got a poll. They can't use the machine, even if they are able to reconstruct it. <laughs> <laughs> the most erudite man Aha, of the clergy. <laughs> here, right at the end of the chronicle, but the year fourteen hundred and sixty-five after Christ came. We'll leave this going on until the poll ends. The justice, at the top the of the chat, you can vote uh, to see if you want to skip a cutscene or not. I will respect whatever the majority votes. During that event, their time machine, which they'd called the Gate of the Temple of Wisdom, must have been damaged. That is why they needed my help. Bob sent you. Nice. Which will end hmm. first, the poll so, or the cutscene? <laughs> the order took Leonardo's time machine, and we don't it's know a good question. where. Borgia took Giacomo's glove, and we don't know where. At least... We still have the I have one no idea what they're talking about. Why this guy the... has like, which is uh, sanitary pads on the side of his Seriously, head. Seriously, gentlemen, and I say this as your friend. You Skip scenes, sixty-three. Yes, that would be an excellent analysis. We are skipping. Not for the sarcasm and one. That time. The poll ended before that cutscene was 
massive, dude. You know how heartbreaking it is for like the devs <laughs> to watch you guys vote on skipping the cutscenes. It must be just like a dagger in their heart. Okay. Here we are. Okay, I think we just... This is the first time we're really traveling outside. Like in the streets. Ooh, I like this. The floor is damaged. It would be dangerous to walk here. All right, so fly or climb. That right, looks like we need to... We need to find another way in. Oi, what are you doing there? Excuse me. Hello? There's literally nowhere else to go. Oh, never mind. So is the house of Borgia saying, but it's completely barricaded. Good observation, Watson. I don't think we... No, all the info is pretty... The puzzles are pretty self-explanatory. Okay, this is interesting. I can't click that t up here because it just brings me there. So, I mean... There's something on the outside here. No. I know the floor is damaged, but maybe I can... Oh, wait. I, I completely forgot we had a time turner. All right, we are in the past. The fire is blazing, as you can see. Is it though? Okay, all right. Oh, here we go. We got some meats here. Oh, I can inspect them. Oh, okay. Let's do that then. Handle with two protrusions. Spit all over my camera, my mic. Two protrusions. Okay, maybe it's electric. Stuffed cats. Yeah, they are stuffed cats. They're delicious. Anything else on here? What is this thing? What about that thing? That thing looks cool. It's shiny. Oh wait. The fire was going to start. I prevented the fire from starting. I froze time. That's cool. Is there anything in there now? Uh, I don't think I can grab anything there. Okay. Good to know. All right, let's have a, let's have a gander. Okay. Uh, wasn't easy, but I got the house where Borgia hides in Rome, the room in which I find myself dominated by a large map of northern Italy, which is obviously more, which is obviously important to him. I evidently need the, to uh, proceed further. There's no straightforward way in yet. Okay. That is a map. There is a bomb. <laughs> I don't know if that's a bomb. There are these. This is a cool globe. We got a latch here. Taking just a little captain's cook. We got a got a painting. We got this incredible contraption. Nothing in the corner. Okay. 
Since he mentioned the map, let's go see the map. What does the map do? Okay, we can only look. We can't- we cannot interact. I'm supposing we can interact if we, like, plug this in, but we're missing power or something, right? Probably. Yeah, we're missing a light. We need some- we need a lighter. That powers this, which then I think maybe moves it. There's a key that goes in there, too. Um... All right, let's take a look at this thing, then. This looks interesting. Seems to be locked into place. There are these uh, prongs here. Can I just grab these? Looks like I can just, like, take this, no? Okay. This is looking a lot like the room. This little contraption here. Okay, so that's all we have for that. Quick little peek at the specs. Okay. Ha. Coat of arms. Dear son, I am satisfied with your leadership of the papal army and I am pleased to see the diplomatic skill with which you've managed to integrate the army of the French king into your own. That will be very important in the coming days. The time for a sovereign territory ruled only by our house, the house of Borgia, is at hand. I heard you had some trouble using gunpowder with mercenaries. Learn from the French what good are allies if we do not use them appropriately. Finally, the most important thing, how are the plans going? that you gave to Master Leonardo. I understand it's a big joke, but it's imperative that you have control over the progress of his work. I don't care how you handle it. Your father, Rodrigo de Borgia, uh, 1496. Vatican, okay. All right, a little coat of arms. You got this little thing in the back. All right. Does that fit up there, you think? It, it does, it does. So sick. Okay, they have these little... Oh! What? What am I doing? What is happening? Why does only that one have the red thing? Okay. Which one's that then? It's that one down there. That's this one. Oh, this is cool. Okay. I, I feel like this is kind of easy, though. Maybe I'm wrong. Wait, why are they not the same? Oh, I guess it's that one, then. Okay. This one. Oh, 
Oh, got it wrong. I just lucked out on the first one. Is it that one or that one? Oh, it's this one. I see. Okay. Okay. So we're looking for... Uh, I see, I see. There's two of them that are the same. Those two, the top and the bottom one, are the exact same. I think it's that one up there, right? Oh. Yeah, but like the bottom right is the exact same as this one. It's the same thing. Is it not? Whoa. Oh, we already did that one, I see. <laughs> All that for a screwdriver, dude. A lockpick and a spider. Lockpick, lockpick, lockpick. Looks like a lockpick situation with these pins here, no? Maybe the, uh, this thing here. Mm hmm. Seems more like a key than a lockpick to me. It's a gross oversimplification of a key. I suppose so. Oh, do we rub it? We got a little genie. Okay, this this requires fire as well to open. I'm guessing, yeah. We've had one of these things before. This flattens stuff out, right? Sammy tool needs to be above the work area, otherwise can't use it. Okay. Cool machine. Got a box here. Box seems to be missing a bolt. And this, I presume, doesn't turn unless... Oh, uh, I see. That's how it opens. We need the bolt to be attached for that to open. That's cool. Like that. Cool mechanism. Right. So... That's it. Hmm. Looks like a printing machine to you. Yeah, we thought that in the first level, remember? And it was like a stamping tool. Does this fit anywhere here? Oh, does that maybe go upstairs? Where does this go, do you think? Should we have tried this out down there? Just in case? Okay. I think we're done with this, right? Except for this here, which we need, like, to light up. Oh! I see. Come on. Yes! Oh. Oh. And it burns, right? What? Oh!
Okay. Tool with rotary handle. Okay, it looks like a drill. Uh, we know that we don't need the other ones, are we sure? <laughs> Badgie's like, no, I'll only need this one. He doesn't even know what he needs it for yet. I don't know if that goes here or down there. Back to the cellar. is correct. Okay, all right. I think something goes there and there's a scorekeeper here. I did, uh, I watched Glass Onion. It was incredible. I feel very, very, it's more upsetting to me that they didn't send me one of those puzzles now. Because I really like the movie. But, uh, make better videos, I guess. Rip. Um, okay. Well, there's like a counter down here as well. Oh, uh, here we go. There's, some, there's still something missing from the machine. Uh huh, we got the bolt. Let's go. A metal card. All right, well, I think we just place that in here. Oh. There's a pattern. That I have to figure out, and then I can restart it, right? I do this. The pattern's upstairs, obviously. And I have that on my book, don't I? Yeah. Top three in the middle. Wait, here we go. Two, three, four. Two, five. Two, three, four, two, five. One. One five two three four two five one one five two three four two five one two five two three four two Five, one, one five was it? Uh, did I mess that up? Two, 
two three four two five one five. Ah, uh, okay. Damn it. So wait, did I mess it up again? <laughs> oh my God. Two, three, four, two, five, one, one, five. One, one, five. Uh, one, one, five. All right, we got it now. <laughs> okay. So, therefore, <laughs> hold on, we go upstairs now, I guess. We're done down here. Okay. I think we put it, I think we put it in here. We slide it in here and then we look through it, yeah? It's gotta be something like that. Oh, up here. What did it say? Right. Well, how do I close it? Oh. Here we go. Wow. Cool. Ah, uh, okay. A bingo machine. Those are all connected now. Yes, we've got eight shots. Nice. Yeah, we're crushing this right now. Whoa.
Ah, cool. Oh, sick. Yo, what the hell? This puzzle's dope. Wait, so it goes up there. Let's say we go this way. It comes, uh, we need to go back up there. So it's gonna go up. That's gonna go here. That's gonna go there. And we've got ourselves an explosion. Jenga. Love it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we got stairs. Let's start with this thing. Okay, not sure what to make of that just yet. We've got this thing. Okay, seems like a some type of fireplace. Got this, which has a keyhole. Some type of measuring device, some type of scale. Mm-hmm. It's attached to this. Need a screwdriver here, potentially. Over here, we've got this seems like a barrel. Type of cabinet. Uh, counter up here. Maybe a producer of electricity, this looks like it might be. Some type of energy. Some... Ah, I gotta put the right values in here. Okay, alright. Over here! Ooh. We got this cool contraption. Very cool. Okay. Nitrous, hydrogen, soda, strontium, sulfur, carbon, oxygen. Those are the symbols. Four, five, two. Okay, chunks of 15. Four, five, two. They're chunks of 15. So the code here would be three, one, Five, three, one, five, and that's how to get into the oven. Gotten that figured out already. Some type of key that goes here, mortar and pestle, or just the mortar, pretty much. What do we say? Three, one, five. These look like the elements, right? Okay. I have a quick peek with the, uh, with the old spectacles. All right, let's take it upstairs. Almost got killed. That is crazy. Bent wire. Okay.
13th of April, 1502, there is something poetic about rotary scythes. The idea of using them militarily may seem cruel, but it's perfectly fascinating. Leonardo is said to have been inspired by the war machines of Roman Empire in their designs. With the strength of the ancient Romans, I could easily conquer all of Italy, but I can also work with what I have. And the firearm Leonardo sent me, that is art. It's not much use in real combat yet, but with a little effort and minor adjustments to the gunpowder recipe, it can become my enemy's worst nightmare. One man, a single weapon, and dozens of dead in just the few first moments of battle. But what matters is what the master still hasn't sent me. I know he's still working on the gate. He's avoiding completing it. Maybe it's time to change my approach. Perhaps he can be persuaded to be more diligent if I give him the post of chief military architect and engineer. Oh. Cool gun. Little blaster there. Oh. It's a game of memory. resin. I gotta like melt this down. Oh, cool. Nice. Love a good memory game. I gotta, I mean, obviously I gotta put the key in here, but I must like melt it first, perhaps. these things by the way. We didn't check this out, did we? What's required here? Can I just lift this? That's locked. Okay. In the oven? Ah, good call. Oh. Nice. Nice. Loopy, thank you for the 20 months. Merry Christmas, welcome back. I can't start this. I'm missing something to, to begin this process, right? And I don't think it is this or the wire. Okay, so that's in there, safe and sound. This is no good here. Nice. Okay, that's a switch. Nice. Impure charcoal powder. <laughs> Why is it so impure? What did it do? something in here that I need to get out. Oh, 
This thing. Don't I have that? Oh, I gotta put it in on this side, maybe. Yeah? Yes. As if you couldn't just reach in there. Metallic lattice? It's a nice slice of lattice right there. Is that it? Looks like it. Okay, we got a few items here. Um... I think we might have to purify some of this. What does that say? This item won't fit. Okay, we got a switch. Uh... There's numbers here too, where the pointers are. See, one, two, three, and four. So many different little contraptions. The book will just tell me what we already know. It's just a journal, really. And it has this. the back of that look like? Okay. Upstairs is only the gun, right? Mm, did we check everything here? We did. Um, that we checked. We didn't really check this side out. to start that oven. That's what we need to do, right? We need to start that oven. And to start this, in order to start this oven, we are clearly missing a mechanism that fits here. Uh, isn't one of these. Like a fun puzzle. The drawer on the table. This one? We can't uh, access it. There is no accessing it. Hmm. Does the lattice fit on one of those corners? Which corners? It's going to be something silly like this, isn't it?
I, I can't inspect below the table. There's no inspecting below the table. Only what is on the table. A small switch under the rail gun? I don't think I'll use the machine again. We need to split the charcoal, right. Can I put the charcoal in here? Uh, will not let me. Cannot burn the charcoal on the candles. I cannot interact with the uh, the device. As far as I go, is that guy. So there's nothing upstairs yet. Uh, nothing on the table I can reach for, unfortunately. Nothing in the window. Uh, at least I don't think. No. I don't think there's anything upstairs until we get the resin out of the key, or the key out of the resin, rather. Is my guess. So at this point. I think this machine, maybe, we need to weigh stuff, don't we? We have to find out where this switch goes. Guarantee, that's where... Wherever we see a little slot like this anywhere... That's where we found it, isn't it? We can't interact with these. The chalk port gives us a code 315 right here, and then it has all these different things which I'm guessing have to do with whatever's in there, which we don't have access to just yet. Uh, so these things seem all like out of order. This. And then the only thing left is this item, which there is no interacting with until we find the proper key. The mortar and pestle. And it will not fit in. So there's no... I, c I can't, uh... Charcoal will not go in there. I'm guessing what goes in there might be this... No, never mind. Can I interact with the switch by turning it? I cannot interact with any anything at the moment. Oh, interact with this, you mean? No. Under the gun on the left side next to the flask. Under the gun? Really? What flask? What gun? Uh, 
Oh, the rail gun. No, no. They said we're done with the machine. Oh, but maybe. Maybe you're right. Let's go look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're done with this. The sand idea is interesting because it does show us still the sands there. Oh, that would have been cool. Hmm. Well, the time freeze thing is interesting. Maybe that. Maybe upstairs somehow. Did we check the time turner thing upstairs? Nothing, nothing up here with the, uh, with the time stuff. Is there a three digit thing on the bookshelf? Uh, there is this, which I would assume we would need to do this three digit thing, but is determined by this. That's going to be three, one, five, but, uh, that's the only thing that interacts with anything at the moment. What does this look like? A metal lattice. Like, it doesn't f look like it goes anywhere. Hmm. Kind of stumped here, chat. What's going on? 200 of us here. Pretty good puzzle if it stumps 200 people. That's pretty sick. Not going to lie. Okay, maybe we double check this here somewhere. The drawer doesn't open, no. Cannot access the drawer. The spinny thing on the bench. I can just do this. That's all I can do with this. I cannot interact with this because that is locked. That lock is attached to that, which is most likely attached to like this end. And I cannot interact with anything here. DJ Smyrny, if you're right, I swear, but everybody said, go back to this thing and we, and we, we can't interact with it in any way. Up here, you mean? Up here? No. This was just to make ammo casings. No, it's a switch. You can't... Oh, this thing? Oh. Wait a second. Ladies and gentlemen, he's on to something. Well, 
Let's go! Hell yeah. All right. We got a flack and a gunpowder. Oh, that took forever. Sorry about that, guys. But here we go. Took us all a minute there. Okay, we have this thing here. Um, do we? Where do we put it? Do we put it in here? Oops. Yes. Nice. Container with gunpowder. Dope container. Very sick container. That is now closed. Maybe the gunpowder would not go in the oven. No, it definitely would not go in the oven. It gives us a code. Did we write that code down? It did not. Cool. Okay. Uh, four. What? Two things of that. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Wait, got it. That's where it comes out of afterwards. I gotta burn this or something? Turn it on. Oh, I see. Cool. Spin it. <laughs> okay. All right, we got that weight. Let's go try this out real quick. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Aha, the weight is not for the scale, actually. Interesting. doing what is it doing what is it doing Does have a weight symbol there.
Oh. Aha. Five, three, four. Five, three, four. Okay. That thing's still locked, though. I probably have to do five, three, four. My father is dead. End of message. <laughs> Crack the glass with the weight. I don't think that's how that works. I need to unlock this side here. I'm not sure how to do that quite yet. Because right now I only have access to that. But I do have a rotary switch, which we didn't have before. My guess is maybe here. Yeah. Okay, so five is the first number. I tried five, three, four. Cool, what the hell? Yo, this is cool. It's like one of those mobile app games. Ooh. A winged nut. Powder flask. Let's go. I'll be right back, chat. I have to go to the bathroom. Be right back, be right back. Don't go anywhere. And we're back. Okay, so we just uncovered a winged nut and this thing, powder flask. Now the powder flask definitely goes in here. That fits perfectly where the powder flask should go. Am I nuts? Is that not a perfect fit here? Is there something I must combine with the powder flask first? 
Hmm, okay. Clearly, we got to do something with it. Does it, can I open it? I can't open it. Hmm. I mean, this kind of fits, like, what style here? If you look at just even, like, the style of things. Maybe this? That looks like it would fit there, wouldn't it? Am I missing something? What am I missing? <coughs> and there's this with the uh, charcoal. I don't know if there's powder inside and there's no way of putting it in. I already said that. I don't know. I have, there's no, there's no combining anything. You can't put the charcoal in the flask. I tried. I don't know how to... You can't... I don't know how to communicate that better than... The flask clearly fits in here, but there's something stopping it. I can't check this mechanism out. This here it seems to be attached to. I don't know. Down here somewhere. I'm not sure what to do with that. That gave us that. We returned this. open this. Was there something here that we missed?
I cannot take the gunpowder out. No, it goes straight to there. I, mean, I, I think we've tried that already. Yeah, we've tried that. Hmm. No, the only thing that's upstairs is the um, is the the gun in the case with the keyhole. That's the only thing we can interact with up there, and so that'll be done once we have the key, which is in here, which is melted by the resin, and then clearly this flask goes in here. I mean, I would think you'd need to like, can we like open this somehow? For this end, can we put this in there? Oh wait, maybe here? No, the puzzle upstairs is complete. This one is complete. We've completed it all. There's nothing here for us to do. Maybe we put the flask on the gunpowder machine. Not a bad guess, right? Cannot interact with this anymore. This is uh, getting kind of tough. Wait, no, we did that. The box on the bench. What bench? Time device. Good call. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. All right, should we grab a hint, chat? I think it's about time we grab a hint. What do you guys think? What bench? 
this bench. No, I try. I'm going to use a hint. Let's go. On the top of the lockers beneath the blackboard in the lab is another cylinder, but this one is blocked, so putting weight on it does nothing. This must have a solution. Okay. That's a good hint. Because it doesn't give us the answer, it just tells us where to look. So something about this here. Oh, there we go. Okay, fair. That was fair. I mean, that really stumped us. None of us really had an idea about that. Okay, cool. We move along. Sulfur crystal. Okay. Small hook. Roger. It's my great planner, pleasure to banish you from the Vatican. You or the men paid with your money while you still have some left are no longer welcome. The papal guard has strict orders to deal with you. As for your former membership in a certain order, I will offer you a friendly warning. Efforts to misuse the information you will, you learn as a member would be unpleasant, perhaps even stressful. Given your state of health, I would advise against for that's a threat. This is from the Pope himself, Pope Julius II. Care about my recommendation? Forget about uh, you've been through in the past 10 years. Become a monk, find some peace. It's impossible to hide from from the sight of God himself. Okay. Fantastic. We've got things. We've got things. We've got things. Now, I'm guessing one of these items... No. Sulfur crystal. Hmm. Yes. That, what's that symbol for? That's the symbol for nitrogen. Take that. We know it goes there. We know it goes there. Is this metal symbol?
Ah. All right, we've got our third thing. Strange key. Okay, let's go crush that powder. Saltpeter powder. Sulfur and charcoal. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? I need to have something here first. This needs to be connected here first. Nice. Oh. Hold on. I need to make something. I need to make this, right? Four parts um, sulfur, two parts nitrogen. I have exactly four parts now, or did that even matter what I just did? I have four parts. Great. So that's all I need for that, right? I can't put all in one. How do you make the other stuff? How do you make nitrogen? Or niter. No, because I'm looking at this here. I'm looking at the recipe here. We have four for two parts of that. Oh, okay. And how many parts of this do I need again? I need two parts. So therefore, I go here. Like this, right? Can I now... No, I can't mix them in there. Not charcoal, right? Okay.
No, I can't mix. I can only put one thing in there. I can't mix in the bowl either. I can't interact with the bowl anymore. Hmm. Wait, we don't need four, five, two. We need three, one, five. Right? We need three, one, five. That's what we need. Three, one, five. Why are there four things? No, we need three, one, five. Because this is what we're looking for here. This number, I guarantee you. Because we have to make that fire. But it's three what? Three what to make? Th Is it this? Is it three? One and five. Okay, carbon in the middle. So be three parts nitrogen. Or three parts sulfur. Okay, three parts sulfur. So we got four here. Let's get rid of one. Let's do this. Um, yeah. Sulfur, let's do charcoal next. We'll do one with charcoal. That's two or one. There we go, that's one. And last we have saltpeter, which is five. more back in here unless I'm mistaken the only other mistake I could see is the order in which I did them so let's go that is a cool puzzle. Oh my god, dude. That took forever. Uh, Alright, things are gonna, I think, roll nicely together now. Hey, 100 bits! Thank you! Merry Christmas to you too! Let's go. Bring it over here. Ah, oh, thank goodness. We get the key. These stories are pretty crazy to figure out. Like, watch it melt. Come on. Whoa! That didn't melt at all. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Yes. Give me that blunderbuss. Oh. What an idiot. He got trapped. The trap has sprung, Jacob. Oh no. Does this situation remind you of something? I guess it's fate. That the better should have power over the, uh, the rest. Dude, like shooting fish in a barrel. And what about those two nannies of yours? He's in critical hit range, dude. He's gonna get me. sent you into the lion's den. In your place, I would be upset. But I am not interested in your feelings. Just listen to me and then do as you are told. It's in your own interest. No.
<laughs> what a weirdo. Heard you already met the Vipers Tangle, calling themselves a lofty Ordo Justitialis. That's good. What you don't know is that they are currently led by the Pope. We know that. We read that he already. Puppet master. Oh, this guy would be the like one red colored they eyes. got their hands on a working time machine. And I have very personal reasons to hate Pope Julius II. I had everything. I was the most powerful man in all Italy. But fortune is a fickle mistress. Or fortuna a variabilis. Julius II had his predecessor, and my father, Alexander VI, killed. Skip, he right, usurped skip. the chair of St. Peter and misused the power of his station to take everything. All right, we're in this cage. We're not out yet. Ah, uh, but he's left us something. A puzzle box. How fitting. Oh, I see. No, I don't see. Gotta get the orange one down, right? I gotta move the purple one first, right? So that thing can move. That's what I have to do. That's what I have to do. Uh, this thing. Boom. Now the green one. Oops. I keep forgetting it's this thing. Nope. God damn it. Where was the green one? No, nope. purple first. And green. There we go. Now white. And now red. Yes. Oh, let's go. Nice. What a cool puzzle box. I want that puzzle box in real life. Where's the lock? Where's the... Get me out of there. The devil's bargain. Oh, we did it. We are out of there. 
We're out of the bald lady. Crossing over to the Pope's chambers in Vatican. Ugh. 